The outbreak of this pandemic has made me learn more about the immune system than ever before in my life. I have immersed myself in a role that nutrition plays on staying well and recovering from sickness. With this study, I've become even more convinced that vitamin D is absolutely necessary in preventing severe symptoms of a viral infection. Because of my studies of this nutrient and Nutrition World's commitment to help keep our community healthy, in May of this year, we began offering vitamin D3 to all healthcare workers completely free. And we recently extended that offer to teachers as well. Almost every week, a study is confirming that if we can maintain a healthy blood level of vitamin D, severe symptoms of this illness can be lessened by possibly 90% plus, given everything else is equal. Think of how many lives this could save. So the question is, why doesn't everyone know about this incredible effect of this nutrient? Well, about two years ago, Google began intensely censoring health news related to nutritional options. This means that unless you do a direct search to a website that you know about, your health question may be buried on page 16, which means it will never be viewed. That's why we have videos just like this. We want to be your trusted resource for nutritional information and help guide you on your journey to health. There's still plenty we do not know about this virus, but one fact is inescapable. Darker skinned individuals are disproportionately represented among the dead. APM Research Lab estimates that as as of May 27th, the overall death rate for African Americans and Latinos is 2.4 times greater than lighter skinned individuals. The experts agree that the one common factor is deficiency of vitamin D. In study after study, It shows that if we can maintain at least 32 nanograms per milliliter as a minimum on blood levels of vitamin D, death rates could plummet. Of course, the bitter truth is 75% of Americans are deficient in this life-saving nutrient because of many reasons like diet, lack of supplementation, and of course, lack of sun exposure. And nursing home patients have the lowest level of D of all. I've spoken with well over 30 physicians practicing in Chattanooga who are strongly recommending that all their patients take at least 2,000 units of vitamin D and possibly up to 5,000. Please share this information with friends and family to get this important word out to everyone. If you're looking for a reliable source on the subject of vitamin D, I like the site Vitamin dsociety.org. It's a, it's a very safe site and I recommend it. Remember, you cannot control your age or certain risk factors, but you can control your nutritional status, which supports healthy immune systems. You are not powerless. Thank you.